Well, y'all, welcome back. Uh, cleaned the truck off a bit, and I used their max amount of time on like one run, so it ain't perfectly clean, but it'll do. Um, all right, so by the title of this video, you can probably tell what I'm doing. I've got a list here. Uh, if you didn't watch the video where I put the spare tire on or you missed the last one, I now have a spare tire on the back of the truck, but I still don't have any type of jack or anything. So I've got a list of stuff. I need to pick up a jack, like a bottle jack, um, some other tools and stuff, and uh, like an extension, uh, a breaker bar, uh, numerous things like that. And then I'm also trying to decide, I'll see what Harbor Freight has to offer because that's where I'm gonna go. I have a small tool kit in my center console, the lower console, and it's 3 8 drive. I'd kind of like to go to half with everything, uh, so I may end up like swapping that little kit out for a bigger one. My biggest issue is going to be finding a spot to store all this. Uh, I think you should probably store a bottle jack uh, standing upright. Uh, we'll see what the instructions say, but anyways, I'll see you guys at Harbor Freight. picked up a few things uh, and I did end up getting a new small tool kit that should have the sockets that I need and is all half inch drive uh, but I don't really know where I'm going to store any of this stuff so I'm actually going to run over to uh, there is a Menards and a Home Depot over here so I'm going to see if I can go find something like that that the breaker bar and everything will fit inside of in the little tool kit and I can be and then I can add some more stuff to it also because I'll have some room in there. It's just finding a place where I'm going to store this indefinitely is uh, not something I'm looking forward to. Although the jack might be stored separately. I might be able to like finagle it into the seat delete somehow in the backside. But yeah, it's pretty tall. We'll get into that once we get home and kind of look at this stuff. All right, y'all. Well, welcome back, I guess. Uh, it is actually the next day. Uh, I went and picked up some of this stuff. I picked up the bottle jack that you guys probably can't really see right there. And a couple of things from Harbor Freight. And then I also ran Menards and grabbed this collapsible tool tote bag, etc. And then I got home last night and I was like, all right, I started kind of putting stuff together. I started grabbing a few things out of my toolbox or looking in there for what I needed. I was like, probably a genius idea. I should watch some YouTube videos and see what other people were carrying in their toolkits and things like that. And I realized uh, I probably needed to grab a few more things. So I just went uh, to a couple of different stores and I grabbed some more stuff. I hit up Menards again and I also went to Northern Tool. Um, first off, I got a big bag full of junk here. First off, we'll just grab a couple things out of here that I had in the truck that I grabbed to bring in here because it's going to end up in there. These are just some uh, work gloves. They're kind of thick. I don't really know. Uh, they're just an extra pair of gloves I've had and these have been in my lower center console along with some zip ties that will go in there. These are actually removable. It's what I used to use on my curtains in the back of the truck. Uh, 
until I got those bungees sent to me. So we'll throw them of those in the tool bag. Uh, this was the tool kit that I had underneath my uh, middle seat center console. And it is a basic tool kit, but it does have a nice assortment in there. Uh, we're gonna keep that along with the new one that I bought and we're gonna put that all in there together. This has some metric stuff and some smaller uh, bits and things like that. That'll still be useful. Uh, so we're just going to leave that in there. There's no reason to take it out. Close that up. And then the last thing that I already had in the truck is this cheapo tire repair kit. It's called Tire Tackle. And you get a, a couple different things in here, but it's, it's a really basic plug kit if you needed to plug your tires. I do have an air compressor in there, an air compressor battery pack. Uh, that's underneath my back seat, uh, seat delete, um, and we may end up upgrading that, but we'll see. So, I picked up some more stuff today. This is a 22-piece combination wrench set, so you have SAE and metric, standard and metric. Uh, I think this will probably be good enough for what I'm going to need. I grabbed a nice Allen wrench key set. This is also standard and metric. Uh, we've got ourselves a cheap plier set here from Menards. This is the cheapest one that I could find, uh, but it gives you quite a few things in here, and this is all going to go into our tool bag. And then to go with that, I went ahead and picked up some locking pliers, and or or vice grips, as most people would call them. But that's this is the off-brand, and then I picked up. Because I know I'm going to want to put some of this stuff into, into things instead of just having it roll around in the bag. I've got this like roll up tool kit and it's full of little pockets that you can stick the wrenches and stuff in. Uh, so we'll probably do that. And then I also grabbed, well there's still something in the bottom of there. I grabbed this little three pack of like zipper bags, uh, which are actually pretty nice. They've got a little divider inside of them. You guys really cannot see that at all with this light. And then the bottoms like open up so that you can actually fit quite a bit of junk inside of those. So I got three of those for little random bits. And what else is left down in here? Okay. And the last but not least, today we picked up a star bit set. Because there are some things on the truck that I know are like Torx bits. One of them being the airbox cover. In order to change your air filter out on my truck, you need a star bit to get that off of there. So I think I have enough junk here, I guess, to just touch on what we grabbed yesterday. We grabbed a 16-piece half-inch drive standard tool set uh, or socket set. We grabbed some half-inch drive extensions. So we've got a few here. And then we grabbed a half-inch drive half inch drive, 18 inch breaker bar. Uh, along with this, I have somewhere in here, which we'll figure it out, but I've got some uh, pipe. So I'll grab another piece of pipe that's probably about the same length since it'll fit in my toolbox. That way, if I need more leverage, I can use that as a cheater bar. And then out of my toolbox, I need to grab a couple of more things. I did, where's my list at? I made a list somewhere. Did I drop my list or did I set my list down? Maybe it's inside when I emptied my pockets, but uh, we'll grab some things like, I've got a little bit of duct tape and some electrical tape that we'll throw in there. Um, and then what else? Some regular zip ties. I've got some of those that we'll toss in there. And some things that I don't have that I am going to add to this are gonna be like uh, uh, a spare fuses for the truck. And what else? I need to go find my list. I don't know what I did with my list. That way I have everything. But we'll kind of go through and take a look at some of this stuff. This bottle jack is not going to fit inside the bag. Um, bottle jacks, I don't know. I need to read the directions, but I'm assuming that I need to keep this upright. It's probably the smartest choice since it is full of fluid. I don't believe it would leak, but I don't necessarily want to give it the opportunity to either. So this is really the only kind of recovery type item that I picked up. Everything else is basic toolkit. 
Um, I am going to be upgrading my recovery stuff here shortly, but we just needed to start with actually having a jack. So if you're not familiar with the bottle jack, you have a bottle here and it's got a big knob here that you can unscrew so you get some some extra length to start with and then this will go up to 18 inches so it gets pretty tall uh, underneath my rear axle or if I had to put it under a control arm or something I should be able to get my tires off the ground with this um, and in order to raise it up it has this handle here that you can take out put together one way or the other maybe not that way maybe it's this way there we go and then you can stick it in here raise your jack up and down this right here that's covered with this little piece of rubber right now is something that you can stick this on and turn it and that will let the jack down if you're not at all familiar with these for now i'm going to put this back in the box so i don't lose anything to these tool kits. We're just going to start taking some of this stuff out and these are going to go in the tool bag or the roll, the tool roll if they fit anyways. Take this stuff off. that together or we'll lose all that junk. Uh, I do have a tape measure in the truck that's my garage tape and let's see how we want to start putting some of this together. This also does have on one end one little flap in these tiny little pockets. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but we'll figure it out. But this should fit 90% of this stuff that's going to end up in here anyways. Um, and as far as these tool kits go, it's really going to be based upon what you need for your vehicle. Uh, what I need for mine might be entirely different than what you would need for yours. So you need to keep that in mind as you're putting this stuff together uh, and figuring out what you need to carry with me. I've been really lucky with all the traveling that I've done over the last few years that I have not needed anything uh, major like this, but it's good to have this type of stuff with you, I guess. These aren't all, this middle thing is not sewn in even at all. I don't want any of this stuff to fall out. I don't know. We'll just start shoving it in there and see where it ends up. This will probably be something that I do a few times before I figure out where I want everything. I was kind of hoping I could get this whole set in here, but I don't know if that's going to happen. That might just stay with this since it's kind of locked in there and would travel fine, I would hope. better. This I think can... Uh, <clears throat> These fit. Come on. Fit. Didn't check to make sure anything fit together. There we go. Well, we've got our Jack 
junk put in together here, we can use some of our tools. I do have some screwdrivers to grab. So these are just some really cheap screwdrivers that I have. We will toss these guys in here. So those are just basic ones. This screwdriver here, this has got different bits. You can flip this around and it's got smaller ones here and uh, a couple of square drivers there which I don't think I'll need but I've got a couple of these things in the drawer so we'll just cram this in here somewhere we might kind of have this situated for the time being it's not the greatest setup in the world but it's gonna work and it's gonna keep everything together and that's all that I'm really worried about Let's see if it rolls up there we go not the prettiest thing but it works so we've got that I guess we should probably at least open this guy up and see what it all looks like in there. Get rid of our wrapper here. First, put my cutters away. Pretty basic tool set. The ratchet is not the, the highest quality, obviously, but it should work. We've got another small breaker bar here, which is nice. And we've got an extension in here also. It'd be nice if I could like shove more shove this stuff in here, but it's not gonna fit. Let's see. Two packs left. I'll put some zip ties in here. So we've got them. Also got a bunch of regular zip ties here. So we'll put some of these in. And we'll go with the open ones. Looks like these are gonna fit. Oh, they will fit. Not the greatest fitment, but they are in there. We're just going to leave that as it sits for now. Yeah, this I would... I might pick up another tool roll specifically designed for wrenches. Uh, this would work well for it, but then I would have had those larger tools hanging around outside. So it just kind of what fits where. What do I put in here? Kind of wanted these to go with something else that's 
It'd be nice if they fit in that half inch drive thing, but we'll leave those in there. I'm actually going to grab a couple of swivels. Got a couple of swivels we'll toss in there. And I need to go get my paper to see what I'm forgetting. All right, grabbed a few more things out of the toolbox. Grabbed an adjustable wrench. We're gonna to toss that in the tool roll. I forgot about that one. I've had these floating around in my toolbox for quite a while. These are some hose clamps and a hose clamp wrench or a driver here. We're gonna to toss those in the bag. Uh, if I need them, it's probably gonna be in the truck sometime. This was also in my glove box in the truck. We've got some electrical tape and a little bit of duct tape. We'll toss that in the kit. And I grab my list. What am I missing here? Oh, hammer, I've got an extra hammer. All right, you never know when you're gonna need a hammer. It would probably be smarter if I had like a mini sledge, which I could do. I was really looking for uh, something like this that had just a hammer head and then on the other side had like a dead blow or a soft side. Uh, could not really find what I was looking for. So we're just gonna run with this for now. Uh, I grabbed my medium breaker bar. I have a set of three breaker bars in the, or like not breaker bars, three, uh, gosh, what do you even call these? Pry bars. Herp, derp, 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 derp. I got a set of three pry bars in there. This is the middle one. It'll fit in the bag, which is why I'm going to throw this one in there. Uh, and then let's see, a couple of things that I don't have. I'm gonna get a spare lug nut key since I have a specialty lug nut key. Uh, that way I've got an extra one in case I were to lose it or it gets left at a dealership or something. If I were to have my tires changed somewhere, you never know what could happen. Um, I'm gonna throw some fuses in there. And then as far as the bobble jack goes, I'm gonna like cut out some two by sixes I think, or maybe a two by eight, uh, and have a couple of chunks that I can stack on top of each other, uh, not only to raise that up if it's necessary, but to use as a base plate that will spread out the weight of the truck if I'm on uh, sand or dirt or something somewhere, instead of just the base plate of the bottle jack. I think that's really kind of it uh, for what I feel like I need. Um, but I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff here. So obviously if you guys have any recommendations for junk that I should be carrying with me, drop it down in the comments below. You know, like I said, I, I haven't really had much need for any tools like this on a regular basis in my vehicle, but you never know what's going to happen. So it will be it'll be nice to have the peace of mind to know that I have this stuff with me and I can use it when it is necessary but it's also more junk to carry around and more weight to carry around my trucks really starting to get kind of heavy so I don't know if this is gonna fit in here anywhere I think this might just be I think that's just gonna ride along with this because this is not gonna fit in there we can toss this bit driver in here just because I've got a little bit of room. Hold this up. Now this is something I'm probably going to end up going through a couple of different times and reorganizing it. Uh, my plan at this point is when I need to work on my truck uh, to try to go in and use this stuff. That way if I come up with something that I need to have that I don't, I can then go buy it or grab the one out of my toolbox. A lot of these things are duplicates as to what I have in my toolbox here, but I didn't really want to unload that stuff and then have it in the truck. Uh, I'd rather have kind of a dedicated set. And a lot of this stuff is cheaper tools. I don't have expensive tools, uh, but I do have some some older nice craftsman stuff. This is craftsman. Like these were a wedding gift that I got. Uh, there's some advice for all you dudes. If you're gonna get married soon, put tools on your thing because if some dude gets drug around with his girlfriend or wife to go buy a wedding gift for you, 
uh, you might actually end up with some nice tools. And I got quite a few nice tools for my wedding. So those are not going to go in there except for this one. Uh, yeah, now let's see if we can fit all of this junk in here. I don't know if this is going to all fit. I don't think it's going to fit, boys. Huh. Okay. So we don't even have everything in there. And I cannot close this thing. I did not expect it to be this much junk by the time I got done with it. And honestly, like some of these, some of these wrenches probably don't need. Uh, but I'd rather have a full set with me. But uh, yeah, I cannot get this thing closed with all of this junk in here. So I don't really know what to do because I was trying to get this video out today. Um, bummer. I can go back to the store. I can get a bigger bag, but it's at least an hour round trip just to drive. Going in the store, buying it, it's another hour and a half. And I've already done that twice and burnt off a half a tank of gas. Ugh. Crap. Okay, y'all, we are back, and I have a different bag, and kind of the bummer is, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, this bag is from Harbor Freight, so I took that bag back to Menards, uh, which was an 18-inch log tool bag, and I was going to grab their 24-inch long version, but they were sold out, and to go to the next Menards would have been probably at least another hour on the hour and a half drive I just took to buy this, but this is a Bauer brand 24-inch tool bag. And like the construction, the design, everything is exactly the same. Um, I am assuming they were probably all made by the same company in China because these are all made in China. But I picked one up, so it's quite a bit bigger. It's kind of a bummer because I really, the spot where I was going to probably plan on keeping this, I don't think it's going to fit. But I think we can shove everything in this giant bag. Um, I guess to show you, there are some small pockets inside of it on both sides. If you guys can see that stuff, they run all along the sides. On the outside here, you have a pocket on each end and then a Velcro pocket right here. And uh, there are no pockets on the end. The Menards one did have some pockets on the end here, but uh, they weren't very usable because they were all sewed up in the middle too. These are open. So let's shove everything in this bag and then... At this point, it's just got to go live in the truck somewhere. All right. And I was going to get another one of these for my wrenches, but I did not. We will uh, we'll just have to do that in the future. Like I said, this is not all said and done. It's going to take some other uh, things to complete this. But we've got all our long jump there, totes, wrench set, oh, it's heavy, this is way heavier than I expected it was going to be, got some pipe clamps, some gloves, which I could probably shove in an outside pocket, but they can live inside just fine, throw our tire kit in there and last but not least we will throw in our tool that should close up just fine there we go so I was hoping that it would be kind of compact enough that I could still fold the top of the bag over and then I was going to shove it underneath my rear seat delete, uh, that's no longer going to be an option. So we are going to go quickly take a look. Oh, I don't really want to put it under the, the bed in the back either, just because I don't want to put this much weight on that side of the truck, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, 
what we're going to do for now until I decide on where I'm going to try to keep this because I want to build this in somewhere where I can uh, store it inside the cab of the truck. I know that I could put it underneath my bed in the back, but the problem comes when I take that stuff out, uh, then this has to go somewhere else or float around in the back of the truck. And many times over the ice fishing season, I'll have all that stuff out so that I can put my ice fishing shack and everything else in the back of the truck. So it would be much more beneficial if this could live inside the cab. So based on the size of it, uh, we're gonna have to redo that seat delete and try to either build a drawer system that sets on top of the current configuration that this could slide into, or we raise the whole thing up so this can go underneath, or maybe build a cubby in the back. I don't exactly know how it's gonna work right now, but we have our toolkit, and it's heavier than I expected, and it's more junk than I expected, but I do have some room left in this bag for other junk. Uh, if that becomes necessary, but let's go figure out where this is going to live for now. Okay, so the goal was to try to finagle it under here. Right now I've got just a bunch of junk under here. There's fire starters, uh, jumper cables, which could probably go in the bag. We've got my little grill here fire pit and grill but the hope was that I could just shove it under here there's my jump pack and air compressor and then inside of here we have some ratchet straps which is just in a bag but that's no longer going to fit under there so for now we'll just shove this stuff back underneath here And it's going to have to just ride up here. If I can pick it up one hand at that high, Evo, oh barely. So, there we go. As you can see, it takes up quite a bigger room and that is not an ideal location. We are going to have to improve on that uh, because basically I would like it out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to be driving around with a tool bag right up here. So. Um, it's going to take me a little while to figure out where that's going to go. Like I said, this is all going to have to either be rebuilt or this will have to be redone. I don't really know. Or maybe it just does end up in the back. I don't want to put that on the roof in the box because that's also a lot of weight up there. But for now, we have it there. Uh, now I finally have a way to change my tire. Ooh, I left the the jack in there but the jack is the box the jack is probably going to end up living in this area if possible but for now i think we're just going to leave it at that i'll throw my jack in there so i don't forget it but i have everything i need to change a tire and i should be able to do some basic maintenance stuff while out on the road so i'm just going to go ahead and close this one out here guys and try to get this video out today because it's like five o'clock already uh but as far as that goes Here's my neighbor. As far as that goes, we are just gonna close it out and uh, figure this out in the future. I have everything I need with me. Uh, like I said before, if you have any recommendations of other things that I should carry in there, probably like a can of WD-40 or something, maybe some dialect or grease. Uh, my head's gonna keep working on this and I'll probably watch a few more videos to see what other people are taking with them. Uh, and then maybe at some point after I use some of these tools, I I could take some of the stuff out there because it isn't necessary, but yeah. Uh, if you're going to be traveling all over the country, you should probably have a toolkit with you. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to close it out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.